What up guys, Grimmage up here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. We are back in the Rexer the second account and we are doing our Reclamation Project Day 2 and today we are going to focus on something that needs to be focused on. Yes, we did some gear hunting. Yes, we want to work on more dungeons, but Great Hall, Arena Teams, we need to start crushing Arena because we need to get that Great Hall up and we need just the basic bonuses. Just these basic bonuses you get just for being in whatever tier you're in this is just not enough i don't even know let's see here wow those are some tough teams in there there we go plus one percent for everything that's trash versus plus 20 up here we need to work on our arena team so that's what we're going to do so let's go ahead and look at our arena team currently we can throw them in a little fight here uh it's not gonna be good try that one so this is our main setup. We have our defense down champ. We have our two big hitters and we have our speed champ. Speed that up a little bit. We'll just see him in auto mode. Okay, so she's going boom down. First big hit, second big hit. Not a bad team at all. But let's see if we can make this a little bit future proof, just a little bit future proof by just tuning them up just a teeny tiny bit here and there. Sorry, just grabbing that while I can. All right, let's jump in here. So we got, all right, we got 173. This is our big guy at the end at uh, 168. Then we have a 180, what is that? 186, yeah. And then our speed lead is at 200. That is not fast enough for our speed lead. We need to get that up. So let's see. Okay, well, there's two speed on the first one. Let's see if we can find here. Substat speed. Five, eight, done. For our speed lead, I don't care about how much they hit. I don't care about anything like that. I just want to hit, or I mean move. It's just gotta be fast. They just gotta be fast. So that is the only thing we're concerned with with our speed lead. I mean, yeah, if they get accuracy or other things down the line, that's great. Um, all right. But right now, it's all about speed. So that one missed. How about this one? Let's go ahead and roll this up. See if we can't walk into here. If we can get a three roll on the speed, that's huge. If we start going flat stat heavy down here, well, that's game over. Let's see if we, we'll roll it. If we hit speed here, we'll go again. That's kind of where you have to put it. All right, anytime here. Anytime. Anytime. Wow, that was brutal. Flat stat, we're out. So I'm not going to do better there. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, do we have anything else? Maybe we have chess piece for that. We do. Where are we at on this chess piece here? 10. So we're going to have to make both of these work would be the idea. If this hits double speed or gets close to 10, and then we go ahead and make sure that the other gauntlet hits speed. Okay, let's, let's just see if we can hit it here. Just see. The shield would always help too. Nope. All right, doesn't mean it's not out. Let's see if we can't get a triple speed here. That's really what we want. If we can nail this one down. All right, so there's one. Doing okay so far. All right, we're gonna go to 12. I'll pause it for this. Okay, that didn't work out too well. Got eight speed versus seven. So I mean, we're not looking at any major improvement there. Let's go ahead and add those two, see if there's any other pieces down here that makes sense. Speed and speed. So let's go ahead and roll these both up to eight. So we're just trying to just tack on a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, you know? All right, so that's one. Just a double roll on one of these. 
get us some pieces to throw out there, and then we also get some stuff ready for the next one. All right, so there's 13. That's huge. So we currently have eight on that. What do we have on our shield? Got an 11 there. Let's see if we can't get at least a single hit. I don't know why I always like to do just one stage at a time. It makes me feel more comfortable with the whole process. Um, all right, so if we get lucky, maybe. Again, I'm rolling these up again just because I need speed gear. So using this on a different champion, it's not going to hurt me. All right, so there's an eight. So what do we got on the gauntlet? Seven. Got eight. So we could do gauntlet and weapon. All right. So we'll go into fitting room. Try on. We're looking at a 206. Take us up nine. Take us up 13. Take us up six. So we'll go. Boom. Now we're all of a sudden sitting at 212 on our speed. I will take that. That's not bad. It's a good piece overall. So this one's definitely worth enchanting. Ooh. Hello. Oh, that is painful. Here's another. You know what? I will do it on this one. Not the best piece to do, I know. Best piece we got right now. There will be more glyphs in the future, but I don't want to waste. So we're going to have to throw that one on this piece here. Chant will throw this one on here. Oh my gosh. Guys, that's rough. That is some rough glyph action there. Alright, so that one's done. Let's speed her up a little bit. What do we got on the gauntlets? Ooh, 15 with crit rate. Yeah. This is a piece we're going to keep around. Let's pop that on there and get two. Ha. <laughs> really, bro? All right, let's see what kind of speed boots we got just to see if there's anything out there that's worth upgrading to in any of these categories here. That's solid right there. But I don't want to lose my accuracy that she has. We need that accuracy desperately. Ah, oh, man, I wish they'd let you uh, check by star. Filter by star rating would be huge. What about here? Accuracy? Okay, so how about we do a chest piece, substep. Speed, primary accuracy. We do have this piece here. Wouldn't destroy us too bad on anything except for crit rate. I don't think crit rate is overly essential for this piece. Let's go ahead and upgrade this to a 12 and just see where we're sitting. Catch you on the other side. All right, so we popped a nine, which makes this piece already better. Um, we're gonna get five more. We lose a little bit of crit rate, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. We keep decent accuracy. We can take it up to a 16 to get some of that accuracy back. Or we can just take this up higher. Um, that's solid. That's a solid build right there. Big speed on a lot of this stuff, so... Hmm. Let's try that. Substat speed. Lose 29. Okay, so that's not worth it. Not worth it. All right, now we're moving to the next. This is where we could actually opt in to do a different champion here. Um, it is tempting to drop him out. He is a pretty decent hitter, but he's not like amazing. And we could just cannibalize his kit and throw it onto another hitter. We don't have, she's actually a good candidate coming up. He wouldn't be bad to build out as a speed helper just to get him in the game. Um, but not right yet. Not not this minute. Alright, let's just take a look at this guy here. Got a four. Four with crit rate. It's not overly vital, so we'll go ahead and look for speed boots that are fives. Um, losing 13 is not terribly bad. Right here, no. Here. What is he, a defense champ? Yeah, so that doesn't make much sense to give him that much attack. So... Need... Some stack crit rate. 
can't get it above the four. All right, you might have to just become our finisher. I know we have a five star here, but we can't lose that crit rate either. These guys are looking like we're just kind of stuck with what we got. Yeah, we do have the five star here, but it just the stats on our trash will lose too much crit rate. All right, let's go ahead and test out this new speed set. I mean, yeah, we didn't do too much improvement, but we definitely did enough, hopefully, to just blow our way through this stuff. At least be the first go. That's kind of what we're hoping here. Boom, okay. Mm, you're gonna want to kill him. That was a bad move. This is why you don't auto, guys. Yep, that is why you do not auto. Alright, she's done. He's just not hitting hard enough. Yeah, that was a huge, huge mistake there. Don't auto. It's a waste of time. When you're building out a team and testing, I should say. Go ahead and auto when you have a developed team that has all the fun stuff and you can auto to your heart's content. But when you're doing something like this, all right, I'm going to bounce out just because. Just because. So we'll go ahead and go back to this team, turn the auto button off. Because that was too easy of a win. But the team just confused their target, so to speak. All right. This should be much easier to win this bad boy now. There we go. This can't be that good of a team. Yeah, so I'd still like to get a little more speed into these two champions, just because I don't want to give up the gap. Basically, where my first two go, and then there's a, they cut in. Don't want to have that cut in portion. I'm just going to refresh. There we go. Should just refresh to start. This is an autoing team. There we go. Now we're talking about it. Still doing some serious damage out of my War Maiden. Uh, we got a lot of damage coming out of Kale, and then we got okay damage coming out of our little guy. He's really great because he is just super tough. Super tough champion. I could get his defense up, which is what I need to work on, um, just to kind of build him out and make him a little bit stronger. Um, but his passive is kind of not great in the arena anymore. It's just, he's not super useful. Like, well, he never was super useful. But that's super useful. So I may just have to swap him out and build a double kale army or something like that. Because, I mean, double kale would smash right through a lot of these teams as long as we're a go first team. But his decreased defense is huge for clan boss, so that's why he usually remains untouched. All right, guys, I'm going to smash some more. These are going to pause it real quick. All right, just smash them. I'll talk about a few things right now because we're going to close out the video. These are going to be shorter videos. Try and keep them around 15 minutes. Um, basically, what I'm going to talk about is the importance of the Great Hall. Um, I know a lot of other content creators stress it. I'm stressing it right now. It is a huge part of your teams that you develop. When you have a dungeon team and you're not sure what's going wrong and all of a sudden you start losing battle after battle in your dungeon or you're falling just one or two shots shy or you're not surviving quite long enough, check your tier level. Did you drop? It happens to a ton of people. You lose a little bit of defense, a little bit of HP, and a little bit of attack. All of a sudden, your team may not just have it. You know, that counts. That one, two, three, four percent really, really add up. So don't ignore your arena teams. Push for them. And that's what we have to do in this reclamation. This reclamation needs us to push the arena team to get into silver. Because being in that silver, 
is we're going to start seeing real dividends pushing our dungeons. Anyways, that is the goal. This is the team. We will do a swap out video where we, we put in a second damage dealer, or maybe a second speed up champ. Um, possibly uh, Lord Shazir will uh, make an appearance. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for always being there. We are in bronze two. Congratulations to us. Hooray. Anyways, you have yourself a wonderful week. Thank you and good night.